What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. It's Brittany and today we are giving you guys a, I guess, luxury Airbnb condo tour in Miami. This is our very first time in Miami. So this is our literal experience here in our place that we got. We hope you guys are excited and ready to see. This is our third one that we've ever done. So this is like an annual kind of situation. Well, now it's annual because we didn't go back during the pandemic. However, yes, this is our first video back in the swing of things and our vacation. So we hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you love our Airbnb tours and things like that. Don't forget to comment down below what you're interested to see on our channel. Let us know. We need some ideas for the summer. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, guys, so you know our usual. We're going to give you our Airbnb tour. So when you open up the room, excuse the Airbnb because literally we're about to leave and we forgot to do one before we left. So when we come through, there is an open space. Sorry, it's a little dark because we are against the light. So if you turn left, this is our kitchen. Beautiful open space. Um, we got the countertops, our stainless steel fridge, counter microwave and the oven and we don't know why they put foil in here i really don't know why they did that if you guys know let us know because we had no idea we were so shocked when we came in but they left us some olive oil a coffee maker and this is our sink really cute this is the name of the place we're staying at and so here's the countertop x y and z Bottom boom, kitchen. Sorry, all our stuff is here, our purses, because we're like I said, are about to leave. So that's the kitchen. And then if you turn this way, you're into the little dining room slash living room area. This is our couch, cute Cuba picture, our little coffee table, um, TV stand, TV, a picture, <laughs> a plant, and the chair. So this is the little setup of in here. Cute, cute. And then we have a beautiful patio, which is right here. So we'll take you out really quick. This is where we spent most nights. Sitting out here looking at this view. It's, um, this is actually me and Lexi's room. So it covers, goes over our entire room. So this is what it looks like. Cute little patio seating there all the way over down here so I had two seats one long couch and then that was um, Jade and Jordan's room and then this is our little view right there here I'll zoom in is actually downtown Miami went there the other day and then down this way is considered um, Coconut Grove or at least the entrance to it and then just um, I think that's west of us is coral gables that we went to so this is our little view and then we'll go back inside and go look at jada and jordan's room let's go into jada and jordan's room so somehow they got the biggest bed which i think is about a king size bed um so they have like the little accent wall the cute pictures two nightstands a tv tv stand and a mirror mm -hmm. um and then like i said the deck came oh really bright like i said the deck came all the way to the end so the deck literally stops here and went all the way to me and lexi's room so this is their room what was their room cute I like the green I mean that's kind of Florida Miami vibe and the lamps okay and then each of our rooms had our bathroom this is a full walk-in closet I won't show you that I think Jade is in there maybe 
Um, so this is their bathroom, tub, shower, um, toilet, nothing too special. Jada, I mean, Jordan's taking off her makeup. Cause like we said, we're gonna be on a three hour plane ride. Say hi to the people. Um, so yeah, this is a cute little granite top. Whole deal. Pretty nice size bathroom. Okay, now we're gonna go to me and Lexi's room, so we were just right across from them. This is our room here. Oh, she's finally dressed. We had a cute accent wall too. Two nightstands, two gold lamps. The bed was about a full-size bed, so me and Lexi slept in here. Like I said, I don't know how they end up getting a bigger bed. Then this is the TV that we had that we didn't really use in here, which I found was cool. If you watch TV in the living room, then you can't, once you turn off that, it would turn the TV on in here. That's weird, I never knew that. And then like this, this is our patio, like I said, it ends at that corner of the corner there. And our lovely view, gonna miss that. The nights were so nice here, so great. Um, and then we also had a full walk-in closet. Pretty self-explanatory, we put our dirty sheets in here so they can be washed if you don't do that you need to do that make sure you strip your beds when you stay at a hotel or airbnb so they can just easily wash them just kind of things to do um so then this is our bathroom it's kind of the same as james and jordan's toilet granite countertop and then the mirror and yeah oh we had two double doors so we look here, that was to our bedroom, and then this one is to back to the kitchen. So, that pretty much wraps up the tour of our Airbnb. Jada's here. Are you ready to leave? Oh, wait, the microphone is not facing you. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I'm ready to go, but not back to work at all. Not happy about that. Zero out of ten. Wouldn't recommend. Oh. Would you guys say this is the best Airbnb or no? I don't think so. I don't think so. We've been in better. We've been in better. That's yeah. yeah things were functioning properly. Yeah. Let's rate. Lexi, what would you rate this Airbnb compared to all the other Airbnbs? Mm, probably a seven out of ten. Okay. We've been in really good ones before. This is true. I mean, this was nice, um, but we've been in definitely better. I think it's just because it's Miami, that's why. And the, the, the price was high. Yeah, so we got in our price range. Yeah, right. We're so yeah. we definitely have stayed in places nicer than this that were cheaper, but it is close to downtown and um, Coconut Grove. Coral Gate. It's close to a lot of places, so I would say yeah. for the and only 15 minutes from the airport. Yeah. So I would say kind of for location. location is is I would say location is nine out of ten. Okay, but this here is seven out of ten. Easy access, self check in. Self All right, there's a virtual front desk person. Virtual so receptionist. Weird. I was disappointed they didn't have a pool, but that's fine. Yeah. It was quiet. I mean, except for the one instance where where the drunk man. Kept trying to talk to us. Other than that, it wasn't no riff raff. It was quiet. Um, the balcony was nice. Yeah, that was lovely. I, have we ever had a balcony before? I don't think so. Okay, it's so normally the ground level. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so the balcony was nice. Mm -hmm. So it was it was overall nice, but we've stayed in better for sure. Mm -hmm. Good answer. Yeah, it could have been more clean to certain yeah, areas. Yeah. I would say, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Jada, what do you rate this Airbnb compared to others turn this way? Because the lighting's here. Um, I would say it's probably, I'm going to give it a six and a half because my bed was broken. Oh, um, that's true. When I was sleeping, like you had to tread lightly because the legs underneath are all slanted. I thought it was just me. I thought maybe I gained too much weight, but it's actually broken underneath the bag. Um, also, um, I don't like that the walls are kind of dirty on the baseboards. It's just I wouldn't get with it. I wouldn't get with it. 
But as far as like, like the aesthetic is wonderful. I love the way that it looks in here. I like the view. You can see kind of the city um, over there. Um, we were uh, around a lot of things and around a lot of food, so I like that. So yeah, I say, okay, I'll push it up to a seven. I'll push it up to a seven. <laughs> it's just that bed and like the baseboards. But and it the was, floors yeah. Knocked and and there, yeah, it's easily dirty in here. Like the floor gets dirty too fast. And we have to get our own laundry detergent. Um, yeah, just a seven. Not not bad at all. I like the way that it looked in here. And it was quiet. We didn't have a lot of crazy people out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jordan? What would you rate this Airbnb out of 10 compared to all the other ones that we've been on? You know... It's really hard to think about that because we haven't been on a vacation in like three years. Two. Two. Okay, maybe three, yeah. You lost like 2019. I will say I have seen better though because when we walked in, the white, it was kind of scratchy, dirty on the baseboards and everything like that. And the toilets, the toilets wasn't working when we That's first got here. I forgot about that. And um, yeah, the floors are actually really dirty. Mm -hmm. Like really dirty. Um, yeah, but I mean, I'd give it a six because of the area. Yeah, it could have done better because it's Miami, to be honest. To be, yeah. Okay. Okay. So as you guys heard, like gave it a seven out of ten. Jada bumped hers up to a seven out of ten. Jordan said a six out of ten. And my final opinion, I guess, would be, um. I'm gonna give it a seven out of ten as well. Um, the location, great. Our Uber wasn't that expensive because we were going places that only cost like eight dollars just to get there, so that was good. Um, I love the view. Like we spent most of our nights out there, which is just lovely. We never had a um, a balcony before. From what I can like remember, yeah, I don't think we did. Um, yeah, the cleanliness of here just wasn't great. Like Jordan said, our toilets didn't work like the first day, so that was something that I forgot about um but pretty much it was okay it was it was Miami it was our first time Miami um yeah and this is what we got for our budget so I don't think it was terrible I think it was doable like we lived pretty well we slept pretty well beds were comfortable um we had good sleep here and yeah oh, I forgot to show you guys that they had a cool little tablet in here too on the wall and we got in, it had Lexi's name and stuff, and you can like tap to check in, and it recommended a bunch of like places to go. Oh, I did like the easy access on the TV, because usually when we do Airbnbs, like, you have to try to find make your own account and do all this stuff, but when I turned the TV on, it was just right there, ready for me to mm -hmm. And watch. then I told them too, when we turned off this TV in here, our TV would come on in our oh. room. Wow. I don't know, that was cool. Um, yeah, so overall, I guess on average it was a 7 out of 10. As well as the table tea. Mm hmm. Yeah, I did like that they put the tea out there. Yeah. Um, I think that I like the balcony too. That was probably that my was favorite nice. thing was the that balcony. Was nice. yeah. yeah. They have a lot of space and like it was just the right amount of seats. Out yeah, there. perfect. Yeah, seating. Yeah. Yep, yeah. so that was our experience here at the Sexton. Um, yeah. I don't really like the name. Yeah, even though the name isn't that great. But yeah. yeah. That was our experience and yeah. Okay, so can we get a like and subscribe? Since you're here and you waited this long and watched the video this long, make sure that you guys like and comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um make sure because we are elevated faith ambassadors. We have a coupon code which is Alexis R E15. So make sure you guys go on there, check out their website, buy some merch, and use our code so that you can get a discount. You guys can follow us on Instagram and Twitter at No Christian TV. We are posting on there for you and for your entertainment. Yeah.
Thank you guys for coming to our luxury, um, our third luxury condo tour. And we will see you guys in our next videos, vlogs. I did Instagram. Okay, bye.